to the assassination of Osama bin Laden. Aaron? Well, Noam, uh, you mentioned the changes in discourse between uh, 10 years ago and today. And actually, this issue of uh, the reasons behind 9-11 came up last night at the Republican presidential debate. Uh, Congressman Ron Paul of Texas uh, drew boos from the crowd and a rebuke from other candidates uh, on the podium when he criticized U.S. foreign policy in discussing the roots of 9-11. We're under great threat because we occupy so many countries. We're in 130 countries. We have 900 bases around the world. We're going broke. The purpose of Al-Qaeda was to attack us, invite us over there where they can target us. And they have been doing it. They have more attacks against us and the American interests per month than occurred in all the years before 9-11. But we're there occupying their land. And if we think that we can do that and not have retaliation, we're kidding ourselves. We have to be honest with ourselves. What would we do if another country, say China, did to us what we do to all those countries over there? So this whole idea that the whole Muslim world is responsible for this and they're attacking us because we're free and prosperous, that is just not true. Osama bin Laden and al-Qaeda have been explicit. They have been explicit and they wrote and said, that we attacked, we attacked America because you had bases on our holy land in Saudi Arabia, you do not give Palestinians a fair treatment, and you have been bombing. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm trying to get you to understand what the motive was behind the bombing. At the same time, we had been bombing and killing hundreds of thousands of Iraqis for 10 years. Would you be annoyed? If you're not annoyed, you, then there's some problem. That was Republican Congressmember Ron Paul of Texas uh, speaking last night at the Republican presidential debate. Noam Chomsky, your response. I think what he said is completely uncontroversial. Uh, you can read it in government documents. Uh, you can find it in polls. Uh, uh, maybe people don't like to hear it, but uh, as I mentioned before, it uh, uh, goes back to the 1950s, actually uh, right after 9-11. Uh, the Wall Street Journal, to its credit, did a, uh, a study of uh, 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 privileged Muslims, sometimes called moneyed Muslims, uh, people in the Muslim world who are uh, deeply embedded in the U.S. Uh, global project, uh, uh, lawyers, uh, directors of multinational corporations, and so on, not the general population. And uh, it was very much like what Eisenhower had uh, was concerned about and the National Security Council in the 1950s. Uh, there was a lot of antagonism to, uh, a lot of antagonism to U.S. Uh, policy in the region, uh, partly support of dictators blocking democracy and development, just as the National Security Council concluded uh, in 1958. Uh, also, by then, by 2001, there were much more specific things, uh, very much uh, a lot of anger about the uh, U.S. backing for uh, the way uh, Israeli uh, occupation of uh, the occupied territories, uh, settlements, the uh, uh, bitter oppression of the Palestinians, and also something that isn't discussed much here, but meant a lot there. And remember, these are privileged. Uh, 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 Muslims, uh, leaders of uh, the, the, those who kind of uh, uh, carry out, implement the general U.S. economic and uh, uh, social policies in the region. Uh, the, this, the other thing besides the Israeli uh, support of Israeli crimes was uh, the sanctions against Iraq. Uh, this is 2001, remember. The sanctions against Iraq were brutal and destructive. They killed hundreds of thousands of people. The, uh, both of the uh, international diplomats who uh, uh, administered the uh, Oil for Food program, distinguished international diplomats, uh, Dennis Halliday, Hans von Sponek, in sequence, both of them uh, resigned in protest because they regarded the sanctions as genocidal. Uh, they were uh, carrying out a kind of a mass slaughter of Iraqis. They were strengthening Saddam Hussein. They were compelling the population to rely on him just for survival. Uh, and uh, uh, these were major crimes of the 1990s 
and uh, privileged Muslims, moneyed Muslims in the uh, in in the um, Saudi Arabia elsewhere, uh, they were bitterly opposed to this. Not because they hate our freedoms, because they don't like uh, murderous and brutal policies.